See, the, the Panthers are like a super comforting parent or even a grandparent uh, when it comes to their babies. Oh, you, you fell off the bike. Oh, no, no, no. Come here. Come here. Come give me a hug. Oh, you, you got bad grades in school. No, 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 no. Those teachers and the professors, they don't know what they're talking about. You just learn differently from other people. Oh, you, you're underachieving. You know what? No, 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 no. Come here. Let me make it all better. Because, see, with the Panthers... They've taken these top quarterbacks from the 2018 draft and they're like, hey, if you struggled, if you did bad, if things didn't turn out so good for you, then you know what? Come here, baby. Let me give you some sugar. And now with Baker Mayfield being the latest, because of course, Sam Donald, he was there. He started off with the Jets and things obviously didn't go so well. The Panthers said, hey, come here, baby. Give me, let me give you some sugar. And now Baker Mayfield, he's had this ugly split. With the Browns and this split that had been, it was a long time coming, but now it's finally official. So Baker Mayfield, uh, he joins Sam Darnold uh, as the newest Panthers quarterback. And let's see what the compensation was, because this compensation, this just told you so much on the fact that the Browns were like, we're done. This is over with. And I remember... When the report came out, because we made a video as soon as that report came out months ago, that the Browns, they flew out to go see Deshaun Watson. Before the trade now. Before the trade. But they flew out to go see Deshaun Watson. We made a video that same day saying that Baker Mayfield will never, will never play for the Browns ever again. And he couldn't because that is the, I don't care if they picked up the fifth year option. No, that's it. That is the ultimate sign of disrespect. That's the ultimate sign of, uh, yeah, you're done, and we're done with you. This relationship is over. The Browns let it be known back then. There was no coming back from that. And th again, that was before the trade was official. That was before. And it was even said even after that, oh, the Browns are out. The Browns are out. It's down to the, it was down to the, the Falcons, and I, whether it was the Saints or somebody else, it was like, oh, okay, Browns are out. And I was like, oh, uh oh, yikes. But then the Browns, they doubled down and they tripled down and they went up and ended up getting Deshaun Watson. But even before they gave him that $230 million guaranteed contract, it was over with Baker Mayfield. But anyway, let's look at the terms of this trade. So uh, the Panthers are acquiring former number one overall pick, Baker Mayfield from the Browns, for a 2024 conditional fifth round draft pick. So... Not even a 2023 fifth round draft. No, 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 no. Not even a 2024 fourth round draft pick. No, 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 no. And it's a 2024 conditional fifth round pick. So the Browns won't see what Baker Mayfield turned into for them via this draft pick until 2024. So not the, next, not the next draft, next year. No, no, no. Two years later. This lets you know, like, hey, we wanted him out of here. And we were willing to take whatever. This also lets you know the Panthers are like, hey, we ain't giving up much for Baker Mayfield. And, and, and the Browns were in a very tough situation. Now, it's their own fault. It is their own fault that they are in the situation that they were in. Because of everything. And, and I, I just, I remember when they first made the trade for Deshaun Watson, I was thinking, what? That, that is a, well, no, not even when they first made the trade, when they first made the contract. And I was thinking, man, like, that is very risky. How do you, 230 and all this pending and allegations, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of money based off of something that you, you don't even know when and if he's even going to play. But the Browns were like, we don't care. Give them the money, man. And they did. And we'll see what happens any day now. Uh, we should know the conclusion of the whole hearing and whatnot to see if and when Deshaun Watson uh, ends up being suspended. So we'll wait on that. But the Browns and the Panthers are like, we're not waiting anymore. Um, but yeah, a, a 2024 conditional fifth round pick. So usually with a conditional pick, that's one of those picks that could turn into a higher pick based off of playing time. But it's like they, 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 couldn't, they couldn't even get a solid draft pick for Baker Mayfield. And like, 
Things can change so fast in the NFL. NFL stands for not for long. Baker Mayfield, not just a first-round draft pick, because there are 32 first-round draft picks. The 2018 number one overall pick. The number one overall selection, Baker Mayfield. And now he's being traded in his fifth year for a 2024 conditional fifth round pick. How the mighty have fallen. And now, even though it, I'm, I'm sure it would be expected that he starts, it's not a given. It's not a given. But And now the Panthers, they're in this position where, hey, we got two first round quarterbacks on our squad, baby. And whoever's the backup, they still going to be a first round talent quarterback. So you can look at it like that. Um, but they're in a decision, they're, they're in, a, in, in a crunch time because they got two of these guys on their fifth year. So you're going to have to decide, like, hey, who's it going to be? Who's going to be our, our, our long-term solution? And the thing about that, you could pick Baker over Sam. You could put Sam over Baker. Or you could end up picking neither. And if you're a Panther fan, you got to be thinking like, oh, yikes. That's scary territory to be in. But at least you're not financially committed to these guys past this year. So that's something uh, when it comes to the Panthers that is a good thing. And oh boy, you, you know how, how, how things just end up working out so well. Week one. <laughs> Week one of the NFL season this year. Guess who's playing each other? The Browns and the Panthers. Now, you know, <laughs> you know Baker Mayfield going to be the starter. He's got to like he's got to be. There's no he's got to be the starter. Even if Sam Donald outperforms him in training camp and preseason and everything, even if it's just for that one game alone, Baker Mayfield has to be your starter. And if he wasn't the starter, then you at least got to throw some little trick plays with like both quarterbacks on the field. And I mean, you can call it the 2018 first round package. If you want, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't get Josh Rosen. Now, with Lamar Jackson, he ain't going to no Panthers. And then with um, Josh Allen, he obviously ain't going to no Panthers either. But I mean, Josh Rosen is left, so I, Panthers might as well scoop him too. Now, um, when it came to this uh, trade, oof, this is scary stuff. Um, the Browns. They did pick up his Baker, May Baker Mayfield's fifth year option. So that means his salary for this fifth year, 1,000% guaranteed, no matter what happens. No matter what. Um, but this was an update that, that came out too. I said the Browns will pay Baker Mayfield 10.5 mil this season. So the Browns still giving him the cash. He said, right, here you go, Baker. There you go. Little parting gift, even though, I mean, it was yours already. It ain't like it's a severance package, but, I mean, if you want to look at it in a more positive light, you can take it, hey, it's a severance package. Um, which means they trimmed over $8 million in cash in, and salary cap space. So, because uh, I think, well, he was getting like $19 mil guaranteed, something like that. So, they get to alleviate $8 mil of that. Um, so, good for them. They gained some, some salary cap space. Uh, and it said the Panthers, they will pay Baker Mayfield, five mil. Um, but the rest, uh, so he he's losing 3.5 mil off his base salary, but he has the opportunity uh, to get it back in incentives. So, yeah. So it, it took three parties to facilitate this trade. And you know they've been talking for a while because all the reports have been like, oh, the Panthers are interested. Some reports came out that the Seahawks were. Uh, then a report came out yesterday that the Seahawks were out. They were done. Then I know another report from Jacina. It came out from, from her about the Seahawks. Like, oh, no, no, they're not out of it yet. They're just looking at some different things and whatnot. But, yeah, now it's officially over. Finally. Finally. So it was smart that this thing got done before training camp. So that gives Baker an opportunity to go in there and learn another new system. Um, gives uh, Donald, I was about to say Rosen, gives Donald an opportunity to <laughs> compete with Baker Mayfield. Um, but we'll see how this thing shakes out. Um, but like I was saying, it, it took three parties to really f facilitate this thing. Reason being because the Browns, they had to be willing to get rid of Baker Mayfield, which you know they were, especially after they got Deshaun Watson. 
the Panthers, they would have to be willing to give up something for Baker May, even though they pretty much gave up nothing. A condition 2024 draft pick. So two more years. So that draft pick just going to be sitting there, chilling and whatnot. Um, and again, it could go up to, I believe, a fourth based off of Baker Mayfield's playing time. Um, and then, of course, the third party, Baker Mayfield. He had to agree. He had to be willing to go to Carolina. He had to be willing to uh, take a sort of pay cut. Because you had 19 mil sitting there guaranteed for you. And even if he was on, say the Browns cut him, you still got to pay him that money. So Baker Mayfield, you know, he and, and he had already like this. This is how you knew it was over, too. Like the Browns went when before they got Deshaun Watson, I believe they started putting out all these reports because it wasn't a coincidence, but they started putting out all these reports. Baker Mayfield, he's not a leader. Baker Mayfield is immature. We need somebody who's mature at quarterback. Those reports start coming out. And then they got Deshaun Watson. I was like, oh, OK. And then um, after that, that, that's when you know it's over. Then Baker Mayfield, he did his letter. Uh, hey, thank you, Cleveland. Appreciate y'all. Hey, but. I'm taking my talents. I don't know where I'm taking my talents yet, but I'm taking them somewhere. I'm out. So it, it was over before it was officially over. But we all saw him being traded. We knew he wasn't going to be on the Browns uh, this year. Um, but he was willing to take a pay cut and lose some of that guaranteed money. Because, you know, incentives, especially NFL incentives, a lot of these deals are structured to where they are worth up to this much. But you got to do a lot of crazy stuff in order to get that much. So we'll see if he can earn uh, those, those, those 3.5 mil in incentives so he can get all of that 19 mil uh, in salary back. Now, again, he's, he's still got 15 mil of it because like I just talked about, the Browns are paying him, what, 10.5 mil uh, and the Panthers are paying him 5 mil. So he got 15.5 mil of it. Uh, so that just that last 3.5 mil, if he gets those incentives, then, hey, he'll get everything. But he was willing to lose 3.5 mil, or potentially lose 3.5 mil in order to officially get out of Cleveland. So I'm glad this whole saga is done. Um, I'm glad it's over. But now this is just the beginning for Baker Mayfield uh, and the Panthers. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. And just like Baker Mayfield is when it comes to the Browns, I'm out.